Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is your um, next 24 hour star reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. Okay, this reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Let us see what is happening towards you, Sagittarius. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Sagittarius friends out there, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, Oh, you've got a Scorpio. Um, all you need to do is to check out the description box below. And you will see all of the, um, sorry, the website. And everything that is about the channel. Ooh, wow. I'm doing this on the eve of the new moon, this reading. Let's see what's coming towards you guys. What can I get for Sagittarius, please? <clears throat> Okay, so um, you're starting with a jumper card, and that is a Scorpio card. Okay, the, the death card, Scorpio card. It could be a Sagittarius, uh, Scorpio Sagittarius cusp, and um, you could have a Scorpio moon for some of you. I'm getting like Sagitt um, a mix of you know Venus, Sun, Moon, and Rising in here. <clears throat> so. You have a death card. Death card is about an ending. And for every ending, there is a beginning. And I'm doing this on the eve of the new moon. So I believe that you are ending something. It's a death. And it's... A, it's I, I would say there was something that you have to let go. Um, there was something that... You know, I'm looking at the death card. It doesn't look like it's very scary. It looks very peaceful. Although the background of the death card, it's still red. You know, like, I would say there is a part of you, Sagittarius, that you don't want to end it. You don't want to let it go. But it's already out of your control. It's something out of your hands. It's something that the only choice is to let go because there is nothing you can do. The situation, like there's no space for you to stay, you know? um, the death card. So I feel like you have, I feel like you have accepted to let it go. You have made peace. You know, look at that, the flower, the rose is white. So I would really really admire you Sagittarius for being for having the courage to let go of something that is so great but it seems to be not in alignment of your morale not in alignment of where you see yourself in the future I mean holding on to this is is something that if you hold on to this, it's selfish. You know, some people will not approve it. I'm getting like morale. You know, if you're just going to consider yourself, you would hold on to it. But there's morale, there's rules, there's something that you're considering. Because I'm looking at the death card in the Queen of Swords. So this is about a peaceful letting go. Um, an absolutely decision that you need to be right you know in 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 this in this first reading it's kind of sad you know it, it's sad to let go something that you want to keep but it's not meant for you to have it right now there's a lot of conflict you know, and five of wands you know some of your family some of your friends society there's a lot of critics there's a lot of bashers so you're letting it go like the queen of swords 
this kind of speaks to me mentally that your your mind with this situation you have to use your mind over your heart there's so many conflict you know timing money long distances there's more conflict than reason to stay you know that is where and how like it's more complicated it's complicated to keep it than it's easy to let it go than to keep it something of like that okay let's see let's see what's the situation <clears throat> there's also an acceptance in here sagittarius i mean this is i would say i would say this is defeat defeat in a sense that that in life things will never be perfect that there there are some there are some things and situation in our life that it's not always going to be um about us or we're not going to perfectly get all that we want no it's not like that in here i would say this is defeat this is failure this is something that you have to give up okay let's see yeah <clears throat> you know the death card clarify the death card page of wands the queen of swords king of wands and the five of wands the her sorry okay sorry i have to get another card queen of cups yeah wow this is with a heavy heart i would say you know death card page of wands you realize that you need to start looking into outside of this connection outside of this relationship i mean you have so much of desire you have so much feelings you have so much passion but is it worth it the queen of swords in here you know you so there's so much that you would it's it's hard this is sad you know whatever this is that you did you're letting go it is sad because there's so much love there's so much passion but there is also a lot of i would say injustice like there would be there's a lot of injustice like like if you proceed with this it's you're being unfair to someone to somebody it's kind of telling you you have to let go that's the vibe i'm getting in here like the good news is that you know that you need to let go because it's out of your well right now it's out of reach and it's also i'm really getting like it's not right to keep it being right fuse you're looking into you know you're looking into the big picture and it's more complicated to keep it and it's more likely that it has to be you know release in your life okay could be a realization sagittarius okay mm -hmm. yeah three of pentacles this is i would say you realize it that this is something that's not meant to be maybe it's meant to be experienced but it's not meant to stay yeah three of wands three and three I feel like whatever this is, the sun card, you will know in the future why you have to be separated with a person. You have to be, you have to face this adversary. You have to face this conflict. You have to face this. Um, There is something about, you will know in the future with the person, with the situation. You will get an update connected to this and you will somehow understand why it didn't work out i honestly feel like you still have a future with this but my guide is, is telling me not to ask that because there's so much that would happen in your life yeah i feel like this is a love reading that you need to let go you still will have an update with this person in the future and you will know why and i'm being advised that it's better you don't know how you're going to have this conversation. Your, your conversation in the future would be different. Your future with this person would be different. You were three of ones. You were positioned right now to do something different. <clears throat> A six of cups. I would say um, this is a, a special person in your life, a special memory that memory is something that you will never forget 
there is still something in the future between you and this person and i'm not being i'm being advised not to look at it because prior to this person i feel like it's a love reading you would still reconnect with them in the future but prior to that you have bigger more exciting life like i'm, I'm really getting like don't regret it because there's so much more that you will experience in love and in life so when you regroup with this person you will know why it didn't work out you will have a huge big fat smile and you would really say okay that's the reason why it didn't work out because this has to happen and you will know very soon sagittarius you will know the reason why it never worked out because there was something better suited for you okay so i'm glad that you are releasing this and making a space for new opportunities to come in your life good on you sagittarius okay now the next reading is you got a six of pentacles you're being advised sagittarius to look into your finances okay seven of swords you have unexpected um you might be overspending your budget overspending there is something about finances there is something about money i'm also hearing the word with the ace of wands the six of pentacles there's something about your adventure your expenses your shopping expenses or i don't know bills that you aren't like you swipe you swipe you swipe you know you're not looking into it carefully like there's a way there is a better way to save money. There is a better way to save money and to have a health, just to have a healthy check with your finances. I'm getting like six of pentacles, ace of wands, seven of swords. Look into how you spend because you're, you've got hidden fees. Like if you sum it up, this hidden fees, you're being charged reoccurringly by something that's, you're not looking into it that you could save. Okay. Yeah, four of pentacles, look at that. Save money. Um, spend your money wisely. Save money. Also, take time to look into your accounts. There is some recurring bills like membership fee, uh, some extra charges that you're being charged, but actually that membership, that thing is not being used. So, I mean, if you're buying it, if it's a membership make sure that you're utilizing it there is a lot of not only that but i'm really getting like you have you have a lot of assets and recurring charges that if you consolidate that you will be able to save more money something of that 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 you need seven of swords you need to take time to look at in to look into your accounts take time to look into how you're gonna save money in here there's a lot of like consolidation that you need to do the eight of wands i feel like there is something at the end of this month that you will realize okay i'm spending that or paying for that but i'm not using it there's a lot of that repetitive monthly charges that you're spent you are you are paying but you're not using so have a look at that because it's like if you count if if you sum it all you will realize that oh this is the money i should have if you know i've kept it so there is something about funds money transaction interest um recurring charges that you need to review you also have some passive assets that if you're not using it sell it i'm getting that yeah three of cups if you're not using this ad asset sell it you know put it in social media put it in people who can auction who can see it who can view it because you've got a lot of assets that will interest other people or the public or maybe directly your friends yeah I'm, I'm really getting a lot of assets like you need to if you're not using it if you don't want it dispose it put it in the public eye because there's a lot of interesting buyers or people that would like to connect with you and buy the property or buy your asset okay just a focus at the end of this month to look at your finances spending and assets okay now okay you've got the hermit card you know um reflection time <clears throat> you're looking into you're reflecting into now you're looking into now you've got a plan that you're looking into 
Mm. Let's look at the hermit card in here. Oh, you are, for some of you guys, you're ready to fall in love. You're ready to take back a person in your life. I feel very, I feel like the King of Cups, it's romantic, okay? So you're ready to fall in love or you're ready to take someone back in your life. And you have made up your mind, the Hermit card, you have made up your mind that very soon you're ready to fall in love. You're ready to date, you're ready to, um, you're ready to accept or to talk to this King of Cups, okay? You have made up your mind. Eight of Cups. So, Two of Wands. You're ready to walk away. Mm. I feel like you changed your mind. You know, with the Two of Wands, the Eight of Cups. Because the Eight of Cups is looking here. And the Two of Wands is looking at the Hermit card. So, there's something about you, Sagittarius, that maybe things has... You know, when you don't talk, when you're more chill, you probably have managed to forgive manage to forget, maybe have released those uh, low vibe energy towards a person, towards a situation because you're seeing this person as a potential again. Someone, if it's not a person, it could be love itself. Like, okay, I wasn't ready in the last two to three months or two to three weeks. Now I'm really ready to fall in love. I'm opening my heart and opening my life to love or to a specific person for some of you. King of Cups. You've got the Eight of Pentacles in here. Let's look at the Eight of Pentacles. 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 <laughs> yeah, seven and eight. So for some of you guys, um, Eight of Pentacles, you've been really busy. You've been busy with work. With You've been busy with business. You've been busy lately. I would say it's been a very busy month for you. It's been a busy last two weeks for you, Sagittarius. Now, you're going, you're going to slow down. Seven of Pentacles. You're going to slow down and really take time to think and reflect on how you are going to manage a certain person or a relationship. I feel like there was a premature way of... Because I feel like you walk away or they walk away. But there was something that you and this person didn't really spend so much time dealing with your feelings, their feelings. Now, it seems to be you're entering a cycle that is, I would say, you're entering a cycle that's not so busy and that you can really take time to think about this love situation or this person. I'm getting that. Because you're so busy and then the amount of work or invitation or things will slow down you're entering a slot you're entering a cycle you're entering a cycle sagittarius that is slow and steady and it gives you a lot of time and power to think and reflect about certain feelings connected to a person or in your past there's a part of you that you could have you know walk away so quickly give up so quickly and so was the person now you're reflecting you know you never regret it i don't think you regret it you never regret walking away or shutting it down or not thinking about it. But now you're ready to look into it again in in um, in a mature way. If, if something could be changed or could be improved, why not? But if there's nothing to improve or to change, then off you go. Because Eight of Cups is here. So something, I would say really, that you're, some, you're open to something. Okay, let's see. Let's get three cards. Okay, this card wanted to come out. Yeah. So... We're kind of wondering why do you still feel sad about what happened between you and your person. There's something about you that it needs some closure. Yeah. Five of Swords. Yes. Not just you. The person itself. Yeah. What I'm getting in here is that you and this person has moved on. Now, there is a part of you that you both have, you both ha you both have moved on. It's okay not to be in their life. It's okay for you. Like, it's okay. I'm not in your life. It's okay. You know. And the person, okay, you're not part of my life. But you guys need some closure. But it's scary because the minute you connect with this person, you will remember how happy it is. So you you might be playing with fire. You know, I'm really getting like next month. in the in There's a new cycle. 
and you might be attracted to a moth in a flame situation because why do i still feel like your curiosity because you move on and then you started to become curious again and so what's the person not just you the person started to be curious and then you connected and you were reminded all of the happiness so you might cause something let's see what's the advice yeah you're looking into a relationship moth to a flame it could be an aquarius taurus six of wands you guys will move in the dark strength card at the end of this month the lover's card oh my god i mean oh so here's the situation you move on they move on but you guys don't have a closure but if one of you sagittarius make a move if one of you make a move and start to connect you will be you will be subjected to a love affair you'll be subjected to a moth in the flame because you guys will move in the dark stubborn like you guys will go against the rule because this is i'm really getting like it's not fair you know i don't think this is you i think it's your person with the five now i'm holding the five of cups five of swords your person is with somebody else right now and they connected with you like this person i'm really confirming now that this is your person yeah i'm hearing the word this is not fair how can i not ha how come this person is not that they're telling you know that like, i'm not happy i'm only happy with sagittarius break the hierophant my fate is to be my lover so some your your person is like it, it's unfair no matter how i forget sagittarius it's not fair to be sad and not to be with Sagittarius. So they will break the Hierophant card because their fate is with you. So this person is not going to follow the rule. No more Hierophant. The Star card, Lover's card. But it, this, this is all subject to your approval. It will never happen if you 